down at the old family workshop today and I'm going to be building a custom wood dog crate uh, for the van. So this space all in here is going to be a custom wooden dog crate in just a few hours. And I'm just starting to cut up the MDF and I got uh, some cool pieces down here that we're going to use to make some uh, crate doors. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is now that we've got two dogs and most of the time three dogs with uh, the boarding train, transporting them around in this is just getting to be too much of a hassle, transferring crates out of our Honda into here and back and forth. So today, let's see how fast we can get this done and I'll grab a few clips along the way and we'll see what it's going to look like. It's 12.30 now and let's see how fast I can get this done today and put my carpentry skills to the test. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes and I've got the bottom installed so the way it's going to work, as you can see, I've just run some uh, little one inch wide strips of 5 8 MDF, created a little border, um, and when the cushion's on here, if we want to take the crate out, you won't even notice these things under the cushion. And then to put the crate in, I'm just going to slide into place like that. Bob's your uncle. Okay, about 2.30, two hours in, and I got the basic box finished. I gotta cut a window out, uh, which is gonna be a steel mesh window, which I don't even know where it's gone now, but that's okay. As you can see, I'm, uh, I'm moving along pretty quick, so it uh, should be pretty good. Okay, just getting ready to uh, picture frame out the back window here. It's been about um, two weeks since I first started the work on the dog crate that I was putting into the van here, so it would make it a little easier for us to travel with the pooches. Uh, and this is the first time that I've actually gotten a moment to film the finished result. Uh, it's still not painted yet. I don't know if I'll paint it or not, but we'll see. And uh, you've probably all seen our van while we were on tour, but I thought I'd give you a tour of the van right now. So this is it here. Uh, we do have a little galley in here and we've even got uh, our own stove, runs on propane or electric, whatever you want. Uh, lots of storage. We keep some, uh, some water jugs in there because there's not always uh, water available. Uh, we used to have a third seat in here, a little jumper seat, and I took that out uh, and installed this oak pantry so that we had a bit more room for storage and things like that. And uh, in this little closet right here, how do you do? That's our loo. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, you can see there's a shower here. Uh, shower track up around here. And if you look under the floor mat, we have a drain because uh, our galley is actually a, uh, a shower bottom in here. So you can actually take a shower inside and there's a shower outside, should you feel. Uh, another little cupboard in here. That's where we keep the dirt devil to uh, suck up all of the dog fur. Uh, so once I put in the dog crate, I had this extra space, so I just uh, made an extra shelf for us here. Uh, each side here has a drawer uh, that you can get to. We did have, uh, well, this used to be for a TV back in the day when people used TVs. Uh, now we just use our laptop. Um, so I added a little shelving unit in here, and then uh, when we're lying in bed this way, this little guy rolls out, and the laptop flips up, and you can watch uh, movies in bed, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, we keep a few uh, little things, some toys and games, uh, focci ball and stuff in here all the time. Uh, and we also have storage up top here, which is nice, so lots of storage room. AC for the summertime, awesome. And uh, yeah, so this is finally the, uh, the work of art that uh, I was working on the whole time. Uh, custom dog cage here, so uh, sliding door, and as you can see, the pooches have a little window that they can see out the back side there. And uh, that's Penny's side over there. So Penny doesn't need much room and the dogs curl up in there pretty good. Again, this is just for uh, sleeping at night. 
Uh, you know, if we have to leave the dogs for maybe an hour in the van or half an hour at the most, I wouldn't use it for much more than that. But it's more about uh, if we're traveling or at night, so they have a place to sleep or if we just have to run in and get groceries. Again, they're just puppies and uh, chickpeas not too bad, but if we left Penny in here uh, by herself and we came back in, uh, all these awesome cushions would be uh, in her belly, be all eaten up. Uh, the other awesome thing here is uh, our new curtains. So you can see our new curtains. And we actually have a pretty cool skylight up here, which is one of the best features of the van. Uh, huge thanks to uh, my mother-in-law, Karen, for custom sewing all these, these uh, drapes for us. That was a big job. Um, but the old ones are really outdated, had these kind of corny flowers and stuff on them. So it uh, looks really good. Uh, our two captain chairs up front, and they do swivel around. So once we're parked, we can swivel the chairs around and uh, lay back. That's usually where we eat dinner and stuff. Um, uh, so this hole down here, that's for the table. We keep the uh, table post in there. And then under there, that's our table. And of course, uh, the table slides out. This piece folds forward and then all the cushions come across. Uh, so it used to be a king size bed in total. And uh, now my wife wants to murder me because I put this dog crate in again. The, the dog crate comes out, but hey. Uh, so now we're left with a double bed. Uh, so that the dogs have some sleeping space too. So that's the van tour. Uh, hope you like it. A little stovetop burner here and our sink. <clears throat> we haven't have a microwave, but we don't use it too often. Uh, yeah, we love this little guy. Uh, it's a Road Trek Popular 190 uh, 2000 uh, Dodge model. So uh, we're actually seeing a lot of them, and there's actually a few out here in the uh, the RV center. The same model, same year, and everything. Hey, they're popular and that's why it's called the Popular 190 and you can see why. I mean, this thing is just awesome. It's uh, just over 19 feet long, so it drives like, you know, kind of like an extended van. Uh, but man, parks in regular parking spaces, really maneuverable. And look at this. Like, I can stand. I'm six foot on the button and I can stand up in here, no problem. Love this thing. So hopefully we'll share some more trips with you this year. That's the tour.